Hi Pisces. <clears throat> so um, some Pisces have been calling me um, Amanda. I'm sorry, I think it's because I haven't been introducing myself. So I'm Amber. Hi Pisces, you guys pretty much already know me. So let's get into it. What's going on for you guys in February? So first of all, happy, happy birthday. It's your time. Yay, you guys love your birthday. Who doesn't love their birthday, but you guys love your birthday more? Pisces. So adamant. So let's see. So I'm going to be telling you more about what's going on with your charts and with your sky as well, because people have been asking for it and they like it and they like knowing how the tarot ties into what's going on with the planets. So I'm just including a little more of that information. And also I feel that it adds some structure. Uh, some additional structure to the reading so it's not just like my stories even though I like my stories but I realized that you know it's not just always going to have it can't always be anecdotal um and so because of that then we have some additional structure okay so sorry I'm just I can't stand that okay all right good so Let's see what's going on for you. First on the fourth, we have uh, Venus and Mars and Uranus hanging out together, which is really good for you in terms of money, but it's a kind of money where you're going to have to branch out. This is about you coming to, I don't know, it's about, it's about new ways of looking at what you already do, but taking it so you can make a lot more money doing it, right? So there's things that you've already been doing where you've in many ways planted seeds and have been waiting for things to come to fruition, right? I understand that. But there are other opportunities with your particular skill set or with what you've already established that can now be used in a completely different way. So that's what I mean about branching out. This is about mm, looking to looking to take what you already have and expand with it. So you're not necessarily learning anything new right now. You're taking what's already been learned and applying it in a different way and it will bring you money. So, you know, money and luck is definitely on like in the sky for you this month. So whatever you can do with your existing money source with your existing livelihood how can you branch that out how can you make that one more interesting and more fulfilling to you but also you know when pisces does what's most interesting and fulfilling to you that's when the money starts to come in anyway right you guys really do embody that diddy thing really well you know it was diddy that said that if you find something that you love to do like you won't feel right like you'll want to work all the time so it's that kind of thing like when you guys i'm obviously paraphrasing him i'm sorry i'm not quoting diddy perfectly i think he'll live um is he a pisces that would be funny if he was so there is this need to kind of branch out and also this three of wands is talking about you know three of wands and seven of pentacles like i said it's all about money so um the branching out also has to do with branching out in terms of the people you know. Like it's Bob, Pro Bob Proctor that says, you know, if you hang out, if all friends, five of your friends are broke, you're going to end up broke. If all five of your friends are millionaires, you're going to end up a millionaire. Um, because that's the energy you're surrounded by. And that's how those people are thinking. And that's what those people are doing. But for you, again, like I said, it's all about money. Um, this month, you can really get yourself going. So focus, 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 you know. Uh, sorry to say it, I know you guys love relationships and stuff, but you know you'll be about your money. So it's time to be about your money this month. It's all about your money this month, at least for the beginning of the month. So, you know, put that thinking cap on. Get to work on how you can take what you're already doing and branch out with it. Maybe it's the internet. Maybe it's different advertising. Maybe, I don't know. You know, I don't know. However, it applies to your particular field. So, and then on the 8th, we have Mercury and the Sun in your 12th house, which is just about like you're getting ready for your birthday. You know, you're getting ready for your time of the year and you need some peace and quiet and you need to just be by yourself. Geminis are taking that same exact, uh, that same exact period of time and they're going to be talking to their other twin. 
So if that gives you some idea of what you can be doing with that time, is which is talking to the other fish, right? So there are two of you, just like there are two of a Gemini. And so you, uh, however, in the Gemini reading, I just was talking about how us uh, as an air sign dual card, we are not at odds with ourselves. With Pisces, it's a little bit different because you are fish pointing in two opposite directions, okay? So you can be very much at odds with yourself. So this is a time when around the 8th, when all this Mercury Sun activity is happening and it's in your 12th house, it's about, you know, you need to get clear with you and with, this, with the fish that's swimming the other way from what you want. And you need to kind of wrangle her, her back around and be like, okay, we need to sit down and have a little talk right now because you want to go that way and I want to go this way and we both need to be going this way. So how are we doing that? Because that's what 2017 is about, you know, and if you need to talk to her a little bit that way to get her attention, like I'm talking to you a little bit that way to get your attention, please don't be offended by that. Oh my God. What was that? That was weird. Um, you see, I've been messing up electronics lately. I don't know what video to mention it in, but since it just happened, I'll mention it. I've went to Sephora. I touched the 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 computer that she was working at, and all three computers shut down. I came here to my parents' house in the mountains, and I tried to turn something on, and it broke. Don't ask. I don't know what's going on. I have been, like, meditating a lot lately, so maybe it's just my vibe, but I also think it's maybe, like, just the amount of energy that's being projected at me, maybe, I don't know. And then nine of wands, and this is going back to what I was talking about with what's going to happen on the fourth. This is about finding new possibilities. See, he's only ho holding on to that one wand. He doesn't see the other eight behind him. So that's exactly what I mean in terms of your career and what you could be doing with your skill set and your knowledge and what you already have at your disposal. There's eight other ways at least that you could be using it and making a lot more money. So you need to look behind you. You know, if he just turned around, he would see them. You need to look behind you and you need to look all around you and figure out where that thing is where you can, you know, where's that niche market that you can get into right now that would make you that, you know, put you over. You know that place you want to get over a certain, what is that thing? So now, right now, you have the opportunity to be able to do that. So on the 8th, with this Mercury and Sun in the 12th, like I was talking about, you want some peace before your birthday, but you need more than peace before your birthday. You need clarity. Okay, and the clarity that you're looking for here is just like we were talking about with you guys last month. What's that limiting belief? We're still working on that process. That process isn't just four weeks long. In your case, we only talked about it two weeks ago. It takes a lot more time than that to figure out, one, what the limiting belief is, and two, how to eradicate it, how to pull it out by the root. A lot of my private readings that I do are dealing with exactly that. Right, So that process is what you guys are going to, and I can attest to most of my clients lately having been Pisces for exactly this reason, because I knew planetary-wise this was coming up. So when people were emailing me and they were saying, I'm a Pisces, I'm like, okay, I got to kind of move this person up the list a little because I know what's going on with them. So you're, if you're feeling like you're starting to pick up more and more on what's holding you back and it's really starting to irritate you, you're right on time. Now, on the 11th, you have a lunar eclipse in your sixth house of health and work, which is going to be nah, annoying. You guys don't like to be told what to eat and what to drink. You guys don't like to be in any way policed when it comes to your autonomy. You hate it. You find it very annoying. So you even find it annoying when you have to do it to yourselves. You don't like dieting. You don't like any of that stuff. But you don't need to do any of that stuff. You just need to be moving. Be moving around and make sure you're eating and sleeping enough. This isn't like you have to go and get into perfect shape, but it is like there is some attention being paid to like, how are you treating yourself? Where is the self-care? Where are we, Pisces, on that barometer of self-care right now? Right? It's a good time to look at it because, again, your birthday's coming up. Why not look at it now? You want to look fresh for your birthday. You know. So then... On the and then from the 19th to the 26th, oh my god, all this activity in your sign. So it's like fireworks, you know, pressure horns. Why does everything have to sound like a soca party when I describe like a celebration? Like every time I describe a celebration, people are like you just sound like you're talking about a dance hall party. It's true, that's dance hall is life, that's why. Anyway, so from the 19th to the 26th, you have sun in your sign. Mercury in your sign 
and you have the solar eclipse. Okay, so who's the new you? Who are you? You got money. You're expanding your mind. You're expanding your career possibilities. You know, taking care of yourself. Notice what I'm not saying is love, right? Because you have this question to answer on your birthday. Who are you? What are you sharing with people? What part of you are sharing? Are you sharing? Who is that? You're at a birthday now where you get to redefine yourself and it's really a gift. The, the, this is from the movie Dead Man. The movie Dead Man by Jim Jarmusch is my favorite film of all time. It's a moving piece of art. I know every line by heart. That movie is a visceral experience for me. One of the lines from it that I love the best is, the quest for vision is a gift, William Blake. Johnny Depp's character's name is William Blake in the film. And his spirit guide, a Native, Native American, tells him that his quest for vision is a gift. And your quest for vision as your birthday comes up is a gift, Pisces. Because you will find now that you that will carry you through the next 10, 15 years. You are at an important point in your development as a person. And the realizations you come to, the things you are able to let go of, and the things you are able to incorporate now, especially beginning this month, but all throughout the year. This month is setting you up for the year, right? January was just kind of like a do-over month. It was like, can we just, okay, it's over, great, yay. You know, just annoying. So now 2017 really begins with, you know, today is Chinese New Year, so Happy New Year. You guys, by the way, I'm uploading them all at once, so you may not know what uh, order you were in, but you were third. So I did Virgo, Gemini, and now I'm doing you guys. Oh, shit, I did all the mutable signs. I didn't even know. I'll do it all this way. Okay, so I'll do all the earth and all the air. Yay. This is the stuff that makes me happy. Okay. So that's what's going on for you in terms of what's going on in the sky. Now let's take a harder look at these cards. Okay, so you have Seven of Pentacles, Three of Wands, King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Okay, first of all, these Earth signs are just all over the place this month. Earth signs are just like being extra, doing the most. They're all up in your business. Of course, they're attracted to money and you got money coming to you. So that's another reason they're, you know, hanging around. But this one's like, all in your business. This one's like, hey, 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 remember me? Hey, I want to get together. Let's link. Happy birthday, boo. All this kind of stuff going on. So, you know, this one, you know, God forbid you have two earth signs messing with you right now or trying to like get your attention. I'm sorry, I have to get a better table. This, I'm still putting this mountain house together here in some ways. So there's that right? These two earth signs, there's the stuff we talked about in terms of career, how these apply, but they also apply in terms of love. You know, there's a lot of things here still Pisces that you need to be breaking away from, you know, and like I said, <laughs> there's a lot here that you need to be breaking away from. Because you do have like this new year, new you thing coming up. It's your birthday, you know. This is your time to do away with some really toxic stuff that's been really holding you. You know, what are you breaking away from? Anything that makes you feel like this. And if it is these earth signs that are making you feel this way, cut them out too. You got the perfect weapon. Here it is. Take it. Use it. Okay? Because this is not the move in 2017. We're not doing this anymore. Enough with that. Right? We have money to make and like names to take, honey. You know? No. Yes, I feel much better after coming back from Jamaica and having some rest. So I'm being sassy. I apologize. And look at the bottom of the deck. It's the Wheel of Fortune. So when I say that things are getting better, the tables are going to turn. Yes, they will. But they turn on this caveat that you do the right thing and cut out the people that need to be cut out. This is to me the most powerful card in this reading because this is the weapon that you have been given now to clear your life out and start fresh, new, you know, new year, new me. Chinese New Year, your birthday, your season, you know? And what are we leaving behind? You know, you've already got the fruition of leaving this behind is this. 
So we come out of sadness to a place of being in potential but not being able to recognize it. And then so what's the next logical step, Pisces? Step up into your destiny and realize these possibilities banish this completely, right? Now this could be pity, self-pity, insomnia, pain from a lover you can't let go of, pain from a situation that you refuse to grow past, all of this. We leave this behind now for something much, much better as we come into your season and you wake up to a place of awareness of all the blessings that are actually around you and things start to come to fruition. And backing it all up, this major arcana, don't worry, Pisces, the tables are turning and damn, you looking good sitting pretty. With all that coin. Okay, Pisces? So looking really, really, really good. I hope you like that I'm doing the planets at the same time because it just seems you know if you watch other people do that and that's your thing then you probably watch a bunch of videos and great you're just watching it you know but if you don't a lot of people are like you're the only reader I watch and I'm like okay so if I'm the only reader you watch then I really feel like it's kind of necessary to also give you some of what's going on up here because it is affecting you so much and it always ties together you know how my my readings they even tie together from sign to sign right so I'm not worried about what cards come up because I know what I know. This ego thing, you guys are doing it too. Everybody's ego is a little bit pumped. We're all feeling good. So, you know, enjoy it. Happy birthday. Have a killer birthday. Have a great time. And I'll see you next month. Happy birthday. Happy Valentine's Day. All that stuff. I love you guys.